Right, Neil, so first of all, congratulations on your new post. It must be a great feeling, especially this being your hometown club. Yes, it is. It uh, obviously means a lot. Um, you can obviously be manager at other, other clubs, but um, always nice to come back to your hometown. And uh, obviously, it's nice to be back. And upon meeting the owners and the backroom staff, what was it exactly attracted you to come here? Well, I've not met the backroom staff yet. Uh, I've not met any, any of the players. But uh, obviously, I've spoken to the chairman and uh, his wife, and they gave me a very good impression, uh, not only of the club, but of themselves. Because I feel that uh, as a manager, you need to have a, a good working relationship uh, with your chairman. And uh, I think it helps if you like them as well. And uh, they've obviously got a lot of passion for the club. Uh, they want the club to do well, and I can, I can tell, obviously, by speaking to them. And um, we seem to hit it off well when we met, and um, I'm delighted that we've got a new job. And um, what sort of expectations are you going to have for, say, your, your proper players who are going to be inheriting, and what do you already know of them? Well, I, I think, uh, like I've said previously, um, when you take over uh, a job in the middle of the season, uh, you're working with players obviously that you haven't signed, but um, it's my job to, to give everybody a chance and to assess all the strengths and weaknesses of those players and then make my own decisions. Um, and that's what I'll have to do over the, certainly over the next month until the, until the January transfer window comes in. Um, but as I say, some players perform better for, for other managers and as I say, I've got an open mind that the, the fact that um, you know, anybody's Everybody's in, in my plans, mm -hmm. and um, it's a fresh start, I think, for everyone. And um, you know, hopefully, they can do well. So there's no need to, to change things around. But uh, the players will be given a chance, and then it's up to them to perform. And the team has had a tough run of games currently. Um, what do you see Kane being able to turn that round? And maybe where do you see the team finishing at the end of the season? What's the aims? Uh, I'm not going to make any predictions in, in, in where the, the, the club can finish. I think. Uh, Certainly with tomorrow's game, uh, Mickey Cummins is, is taking training this week. I've not had a chance to, to speak to him. I will do later today. Um, but, um, you know, he's got the team ready for tomorrow and, and out of respect to him, it's, you know, I'm not going to interfere with that. I don't feel it's, it's my place. And as I say, he, he knows what he's been doing in training and in preparation for, for tomorrow's game. So it's a case of, of uh, you know, watching the game tomorrow, and then I've got a, a week before you know the following match where I can can have a look at a few things. But you know, it's, Rome wasn't built in a day, and it's it's not it's it's not easy to get to win football matches. This is a difficult league, and and I have got experience in this league. Um, but I believe you know, given the given the time, I can produce a team that I think first and foremost. You, a team that um, supporters can identify with and um, a team that will give 100% in terms of effort and commitment and I feel like if they, if they give that then they'll get the, the backing of the supporters. Excellent, thank you and welcome to the club. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Cheers.